Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a long time coming. A whole almost eight, seven or seven or eight months since I dropped my last video. Actually, it was September last year. Hey, uh, in this video, I'm just going to fill you in. I've been making videos after videos after videos, but just none of them stuck really with my heart that I needed to release them. So I never released any of them. So here we are. We're going to be putting in that Holly EFI fuel pump and hopefully starting my 1987 Cutlass. Something that y'all didn't know I've been working on. Stay tuned. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, got a filled up engine. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex, haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing. Straight to the bank to collect my payments. All right, all y'all remember the 87 cut, dog. All y'all know, just make sure, hey, if you're watching this, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Just, this is a simple plug. But hey, a lot of y'all remember the 87 Cutlass. So I've actually been working on this car. I've been working on the truck as well. But, you know, I may end up dropping that video or finishing that video in a later time. But right now, we're working on the 87 Cutlass. So if y'all didn't know, I had a Holly Sniper EFI kit, uh, a super stealth sniper, actually, that I've been working on. And the engine and all that stuff looks just a little bit different. So I'm going to pop the hood and show y'all what I've done. All right, so let's just get to it. So this is a little update. If you don't already know, this is an O's 403, okay? So I've already took the intake manifold off and painted it. And I've actually already done everything I need to do up front as far as the electrical for the Sniper EFI. I've installed the Sniper EFI and I've actually done the fuel lines for up front. But I, I mean, I still need to button up a few more things, but it'll be enough to get it started today. So I was gonna show you the Sniper, Super Stuff Sniper real quick. So it's actually a relatively easy install. As you can see, uh, I've already got the throttle linkages and I mean, I'm not I'm not perfect. There's some stuff I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade this bracket, but as of right now, it's gonna work. Uh, I do not have the HyperSpark yet. I will install that later. As you can see, some of my uh, uh, wiring is back here in the back and I actually ran it over here and underneath the car. But uh, the coolant temp sensor is actually already installed. As you can see, most of it is already installed for the front end. So today we're gonna be working on the back end and hopefully today we'll get a start. We will see. Hopefully I can hose the fuel together and get it right and actually get it to start. So stay tuned on for all that. All right, so I'm actually going to end up having to pitch y'all my phone, the camera on the charger. So I'm going to show y'all this stuff real quick. So in this box, now I've opened it already. You got the instructions, which are pretty simple and straightforward. The actual pump itself right here. This is for G bodies right here. And then you got the new lock washer, the lock in the um, gasket. And we're just going to install this. So I'm sorry I'm not going to show it step for step, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you take the screws off right here, you put it down in the tank, put the, the this back on there, uh, or, you know, the fuel level mechanism right here, you put that back on, and then you just lock it down with a new gasket and wire it up. So I'm gonna go put my phone on the charger, and the next time I turn this on, we're gonna be lifting this truck, this bad boy up in the car. All right, everybody. It's your boy. So I'm sorry. I had a few days of messing up and not getting everything on the on camera and just 
tackling it. Y'all know I'm bad about it. But hey, we got everything done. The, the car is buttoned up. Uh, it's not buttoned up completely. I still got some small things to do. But the major issue that I did run into actually was, uh, I actually need to put some shape wrap right there. But uh, the main thing I did run into was that fuel filter down there. I had a plastic one, which I had a feeling wasn't good enough. But when I put that, that fuel pressure through it, it just exploded it, as you can see right here. So for anybody installing this, don't use one of these. That was my stupidity, but you know, 10 micron, I tried to do what they told me, but hey, here we are. Uh, but yeah, got the old 403 back and ready. But um, the only issues that we actually ran into that y'all actually would know of was the fuel tank. Uh, the fuel tank line that connects to the hard lines, it was leaking. It was a little loose out there. I installed it, which is a mistake of my own. I haven't buttoned up the fuel lines. I just wanted to make sure the car was running. But uh, one other issue that I have ran into is uh, the fuel gauge. I hooked the wire up to the original wire, and it's not sensing, I guess, until you're driving the car, which is kind of weird. Uh, whenever i was driving it the first day it just all of a sudden spiked up went to the level and it went back down to e so i don't know i'm gonna try to fill the tank up which is probably a mistake but we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and do it but uh that's again because this video is almost about to be buttoned up make sure you make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you push that thumbs up that like button that'll just help me with the algorithm and make me be able to make this content more detailed because hey i actually have more time to do it the correct way Hey, let's uh, also get a first start, which is the first start for you all, but not the first start for me because I started it. I'm not going to lie. I started it, but let's get a first first uh, start. So, all right. We got my sniper EFI gauges or uh, screen in here. We got some of the original gauges still in here. I haven't figured out a way to get the original coolant tank or coolant temp to sensor to work, but we're going to end up getting that back online. And also, like I mentioned before, the fuel the fuel gauge is it just keeps reading E. It has I probably would say like eight gallons of fuel in it. It shouldn't be reading E. But hey, uh, one issue that I did run into when I first uh, started this car up the other day was that it overheated. Uh, I realized after I drove it around the block that it was overheating, so I investigated it and I realized that it was low on coolant which is a fault of my own. I knew I lost a little bit of coolant when I did the kit or when I originally took the kit and installed it, but I totally forgot to put more coolant in it. Luckily, we didn't hurt nothing. We still got good oil pressure and all that good jazz, but uh, that was one issue that I ran into. That's just me rushing and being too anxious. So let's get that first started. All right, like all the other videos, you just turn the key to auxiliary, let the system boot. You'll hear a little click from the fuel pressure. Now that's my battery temp. Or my battery voltage is right here. My uh, uh, engine temp is right here. And it, it, once you start it, we'll see where it's, everything's. Sorry, that number right there has always been high until I started. Now I did just drive this car, so the temperature is up and I did uh, just cut it off real quick. But we're gonna start it up and see what happens. Now, as you can see, my voltage doesn't I actually go up until I rev the motor, so I'm going to rev it, and then there you go. Now, as you can see, now the car is running, the temp's actually going back down, so I guess I got my overheating it. But as you can see, I got my coolant thing, uh, coolant overheating that I took care of. We got relatively decent oil pressure, got the voltage. This isn't hooked up yet, but uh, hey, it looks like the system is good, so hey, this is up. Just an update on the 87 Cutlass. We got a long laundry list of things we're still gonna do that we're still gonna take care of for this car, like the AC. We're gonna take the rear end out and put more of a cruisable uh, rear end in it. And also the transmission has to come out because it's just not a good cruising transmission whatsoever. But uh, hey, this is just a tune, just a update for it. And as always, hey, uh, hug someone if you can because you never know what obstacle or dilemma that person could be facing. Make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them. And as always, it's your boy, Jamal J. Peace out. I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, 
All these thoughts are too negative I don't wanna get lost in the sedative Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive You know I'm about to go off, I won't let him win I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag I wanna weigh 